entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. you down at the barn and see if you're really cleaning it. Oh. <laughs> you didn't forget my needles, did you, Jenny? Now, Annie, did I ever forget any order of yours? Let's see. Where'd I put them? I've been saving up my money to pay for this. Unconscious, Lofty. You better get her into the doctor right away. Here. Is the doctor coming, Tag? No, he's still out on a call. Oh, I've been doctoring myself all my life, and I ain't stopping now. Oh, my leg. Easy, Jenny. Oh. Oh. Whose picture is this? Give me that. It's her son, Chuck. No son of mine. Where is he now, Jenny? He hasn't been riding the wagon with you for the past few years. Oh, the last I hear, he was working as a cowpoke down on the B Bar A ranch. Clear down near Waco, Texas. The good riddance, too. Good riddance. Don't try and fool me. I know how much you love him. Huh. Listen, you just lie down, try and get some rest. Oh. And we'll look in on you after a while. <sighs> All right? Thank you. I still think we ought to have the doc look her over. I know something more important than that. I'm going to write Chuck Hutchins a letter. He hasn't bothered about his mother for years. What makes you think a letter is going to turn the trick? I don't know. Jenny's son used to be sweet on Annie when they were kids together. He used to bring her free candy. Oh, I see. And there's more to this than just patching up a family quarrel, huh? <laughs> Lofty, that was years ago. We were just kids then. Gosh. I wish Jenny had a daughter my age. Why, well, Tag, I didn't think you had any use for girls. Who's talking about girls? I mean, so as I could get all the free candy I wanted to. Just like you. How much further is it? It's right up ahead. You can keep your horses out of sight in the barn around back. Hey, you're right about this place, Waco. It'd be a good spot to hold up in for a spell. Well, I should know this territory. I rode over every inch of it. 
It's better than being hounded all over Texas, huh? Yeah, you got a head on you, son. That's why you're gonna be one of my best boys. Thanks, Deacon. Well, I guess I'll be riding down into town. All right. Well, uh, while you're in there, you might kind of look things over. It'll be a good chance for you to show us how well you can case a job on your own. Sort of pay expenses of the trip, huh? Something like that. He's a mite green, but uh, like I said, he's going to be one of my best boys. You the chef? No, I'm his deputy. Can I help you? Chuck! Annie. It's been a long time, ain't it? Oh, it sure has. <laughs> Gosh, I must look a sight. Imagine having you catch me looking like oh. this. You look fine to me. Oh, Lofty, I'd like you to meet Chuck. Mr. Craig, Mr. Hutchins. Hi. Howdy. And this is my brother, Tag. Remember him? Sure. Hi, Mr. Hutchins. Hi, Tag. Uh, say, what's that behind your back? Oh, just a little present for Annie. Which hand? That one. That hand. Oh, Chuck, you're teasing just like you used to. <laughs> Gosh, Annie, open it and see what it is. Licorice drops and rock candy. You remembered, Chuck. You didn't think I'd forget my best girl, did you? Don't you want to see your mother? Oh, yeah. Where is she? Oh, she's right in here. <laughs> we brought some of her things over, Chuck, and she's fixed it up just like a workshop. Jenny, you have a visitor. Hello, Mom. Hello, son. Still hard at it, huh? Well, I'm making an honest living. Well, I'm working for the B-Bar A Ranch. What's wrong with that? B Bar A Ranch ain't next to the Badlands for nothing. I just happen to know that's where the McCandless gang hangs out. I don't start preaching again. I'm sick of it. Fed up. That's why I pulled out before. You made your choice. I didn't ask you to come back. Just the thanks I get for coming all the way up here just to see you. First thing you do is start barking at me. Well, you give me plenty to bark about. Well, I'm going over to check in the hotel. No sense in asking you to move in over there. No, there ain't. Well, I got a big order of keys to get out, so why don't you just skedaddle on your way? Say, why don't you try and patch things up with your mom? Remember how much fun we used to have when y'all had come to town? Yeah, I remember, Annie. Remember how we used to play cowboys and Indians with cat pistols? <laughs> remember when they learned us how to do this? You still do it? I don't know. That's yeah, pretty good. For a girl. Well, Let's see you shoot. Let's see you. Are you ready? Hey, that's not bad. For a man. We see you doing good. All right. Ready? Ready. Well, I've learned a few things since I've seen you last. Watch this. Show you I'm a good sport, though. Take you to supper tonight, the hotel, okay? It's a date. Good.
Well, how do I look? Gosh, why don't I ever get to eat at the hotel? You wouldn't want to crowd Annie and her gunman friend, would you, Tag? Look, how did you mean that? Exactly like it sounded. Lofty Craig, I do believe you're jealous. Tell me, why does he wear his guns tied down if he's not a gunslinger? Well, Lofty, we've done that ever since we were kids, even with cap pistols. Uh-huh. You better hurry, Annie, or you'll be late. Tag, as soon as you finish the dishes, be sure you do your homework. All right. Good night. Tag, can you watch the office for a minute? Sure, Lofty. Where are you going? Can you keep a secret? Cross my heart and hope to kiss a bull-legged grasshopper. I'm going to send a wire to the sheriff down in Waco, Texas. I just got a sneaking hunch he might be able to tell us something about Mr. Hutchins. Gosh, Annie will be awful mad when she finds out. Uh-huh. We're not half as mad as I'll be, and I'll know who to blame. Thanks for your hospitality. Much obliged. Jenny, are you sure you're well enough to leave? You know, you're welcome to stay here. Oh, you've all been wonderful, Annie, but I just can't stand being cooped up behind four walls. I'm too used to camping out with my wagon in the open air. I tell you what, I'll go along and help you set up camp then. Oh, thank you. Fine. Let me help you, Jenny. Thank you. Now take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. Thanks a lot for the telecompass. Oh, glad to do it for you. Get up. Hey, Lofty, look. Jenny's son's leaving town, too. Why is he taking along a pack load of supplies? I don't know. Prospecting, Hutchins? No, I just taking my mother some supplies. Oh? She just drove out of town. How come you didn't put him in the wagon? That old wagon got any more loaded down. The old horse is bought. I'll be seeing you. Come on, Tex. Hey, Lofty, do you think he was telling the truth? <laughs> nope. Say, when he leaves town, why don't we trail him and find out? I'll do the trailing, Tag. You go in and do your homework. Oh, gosh. Oh, and give me that thing of a jig, will you? I just might need it. My telecompass? Well, all right. But be careful with it. Look who's coming. Hi, Chuck. Hello, Chuck. I thought Mom might need some things. Well, that was real nice of you, Chuck, wasn't it, Jenny? Well, I know you all have a lot of things you want to talk over, so I'll be moving on. Thanks for all your help, Annie. Sure, Jenny. Oh, and this time, give yourselves a chance. Count ten before you start fighting each other. Since you made a move to patch things up, I reckon I can, too. You know, when you cut loose and started running around with that wild bunch, it, well, it plumb busted my heart. Oh, but I suppose it's uh, something all young folks have to go through. You're a good boy at heart, Chuck, because you came all the way up from Texas to see me when I got hurt. Oh, that's all right, Mom. Oh, I know how you've always felt about me in this wagon, but... The Lord gave me a humble place in this life. Just a peddler, sharpening knives, making keys. But I got my self-respect. People trust me, too. Everybody trusts old junk wagon Jenny. Like Mr. Johnson, giving me the set of keys to make new ones for the bank. Bank? Well, bankers and sheriffs. I do business with all of them. And where could they find anybody else? This means more to me than all the money these little keys could unlock. 
Yeah, well, I gotta be going, Mom. Oh, can't you wait a while? Um, wait till I finish filing these out and maybe you could save me a trip into town. Give these to Mr. Johnson for me. Yeah, okay. What on earth are you doing up here? I, um, I saw Hutchins leave town with a loaded pack horse, so... Well, I thought I'd see what he was up to. He was just bringing his mother some supplies. Uh-huh. But half of those supplies still aren't unloaded. Oh, I believe you are jealous of him. You can plainly see I it. can see well enough, Annie. I'm afraid you're being blinded by an old friendship. I've been watching that fella. He's got all the mannerisms of a gunslinger. Well, if you want to stay up here and waste your time all day, you go right ahead. I'm going on back to town. I've got some work to do. Bye. There they are. Finish the whole blame set. I'll see that Mr. Johnson gets them. Uh, you'd like me to fix you a cup of coffee before you leave? No, thanks. Come on. So long, son. Yeah. Lofty? He's not playing with that telecompass of yours. Why? Well, I promised Lofty not to tell you. Tag or commas is a mighty important thing, and I certainly wouldn't ask you to break it. Just tell me one thing. Does that telegram you have behind your back have anything to do with the promise? Well, uh, as long as you know, Annie, here. Uh, Lofty telegraphed the sheriff from Waco, Texas. That must be the answer now. It just came. I strongly suspect Chuck Hutchins is Waco Kid, warrant for armed robbery. Advise holding him for questioning. Kid. Where are we going, sis? I'm going out to find Lofty and the Waco Kid, but you're going to stay right here and, and do my homework <laughs> right. about starved. I noticed you didn't forget the show in the back of some. That's important remembering details. That's why you're going to be one of my best boys. You say that often enough, Deacon, I'm going to start believing you. I see you brought us quite a few shooting supplies. I'll last us through a large job. That's good, boy. It's good. Tag, Bank of Diablo. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, Waco. When you case a job, you don't overlook any tricks, do you? You ain't using these keys. Why ain't we using them? Because my mother get blamed, that's why. I'm not letting her take the rap for what I do. Look, Waco, we're not going to let a setup like this slip through our fingers. You want these keys, Deacon? You'll have to take them. 
Why, shucks, son. I ain't foolish enough to think I could outdraw the Waco kid. All right. I'm taking these keys into town right now. He's got a long ways to go before he reaches that bank. Beating around the bush. Waco. How'd you find out? A telegram. I'm gonna have to put you under arrest. I'm not giving myself up any. Not even to you. You'd better give me your gun. Uh-uh. You better give me yours. Hold it. Well, I'll be. Turn around. I can understand now why you and Jenny had so much trouble all these years. A mother has an instinct that tells her when her son has hit the wrong trail. And it's pretty rough on her when she finds out he's an outlaw. Rough on her? What about me? What about all the years I spent as junk wagon Jenny's son? It's not a junk wagon. It's a traveling store. Well, it started out being a junk wagon. The name stuck on her and me. Hold it, just like you are. I'll take this, miss. You see, son, you can't get along without me. Now be sensible and let me have them bank keys. Nothing doing. I told you I'm not dragging my mother into this. Wait, it's about time you were told what's what. Junk wagon Jenny ain't no relation of yours of any sort. She picked you up and took you in when your pa was killed. What are you raving about? Your pa was Duke Racker. He was my partner. Duke Racker? The notorious outlaw? That's right, and you're his son. Duke was gunned down on a stagecoach job in Laredo. That's when junk wagon Jenny stepped in and took you over. Well, if Jenny's not your real mother, she picked you up and raised you just out of the kindness of her heart. Yeah. You don't owe that peddler a thing. She means nothing to you, boy, nothing. He owes her more than he would a real mother. You're right, Annie. I took it all for granted. Stop jabbering and hand me those keys. Not a chance. <laughs> Fire up. That won't put him out of action. Maybe this will. Proud of you. 
Thanks, Mom. Now, let's go, Waco. We got a long ride ahead of oh. us. It's not Waco anymore. Chuck Hudson. Chuck, when you've served your time, you'll certainly be welcome back here in Diablo. Isn't that right, Rock? Sure is. Especially if you bring Annie some licorice and rock candy. Thank <laughs> you. 